how to use Microsoft Teams, the latest version. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can remotely work from home using Microsoft Teams and cooperate with your team, with your manager, and with your overall business. So let's get started. Now to get started, simply head on over to Microsoft 365 and then click on Teams on the left. Now, Teams does have a application that you can actually download. This is the Teams app for desktop. This is available for Mac. This is available for the Android applications. This is available for Windows, and you can just download that. Additionally, you also have different types of Teams essentials that you can purchase. So for $4 per user per month, you have an annual subscription where you have unlimited group meetings for upwards of 30 hours, up to 300 participants per meeting, 10 gigabytes of cloud storage per user, anytime phone and web support, unlimited chat with coworkers, file sharing, tasks, polling, data encryption as well. So these types of add-ons can help you in just making it easier to manage your business day to day. Now, if we access the desktop version of our Teams app over here, we're going to click on Join or Create Team, and we can click on Create Team. From there, we can pick out either a template or we can also form a group. We can form another team as well. So we can go on ahead and choose a particular group that we already have or just get started with a blank template. So I want to create a basic team. And once we do that, we can start building our team. So let's say this is going to be my clay making class team. So I will see I have one channel that will be created by default and we will add what type of team will this be? This will be a private team and the team name is going to be clay making or clay sculpting 2024. And then we're going to add a description. So learn everything or all inclusive clay course and then i can click on create over here and this might be a course that i'm running or a in-person course that might be going on which i am also posting on teams and not only can i create this private team for the people that are participating in this but i can also add my employees my workers that are going to be working to create this class and i can create you know, a really nice section where I can manage all of my teams. Now on the left, you will find a section for any activity, then your chats, as well as all of your teams. So if I open up this particular team, this will open up the team's main channel. Now, once you open up your team's main channel, you can actually click on these three dots on the top right and then click on manage channel. Once you do that, you can manage the permission. So the general channel is only for only owners can post and then I'll click on edit and after that we can also add connectors we can also manage the analytics but I'm just going to limit this and I can click on start a post this is going to be the batch of this year learn all you need to know about clay like this and then I can just click on post. We can also make our text bold, italic, underlined, strike through, as well as highlight, font, uh, font alterations, citations, hyperlinking, code, and much, much more. You can indent, create paragraphs, add your own formatting, add tables into team chats. Not only that, but you can add different emoticons as well. And you even have this section to loop components such as Q&As, progress trackers, bulleted lists, checklists, Camden boards, and much more. Now I'm going to click on post and then after that I want to create a separate channel for the people that are going to be working within my team. So I will click on add channel and this is going to be my class management and then I can click on channel type and this is going to be a private channel. So even people within the team are not going to have access. This is going to be a private channel where only specific people can have access. I can click on create over here and after that I can start managing my classes on here. 
So I'm going to skip the adding members part. You're obviously going to add your members. And then from here, you can click on start a post. And then from here, I like to add a class schedule. And then I can click on this icon over here and then I can create a Kanban board. Once I create my Kanban board, I can add my own components within it. So I'm going to add maybe uh, future planned or ideas, planned classes. Then after that, we have in progress. I'll add in progress. And then after that, I'm going to add completed class skills. And then within these, not only can I add simple cards, but what I can also do is that let's say I have a planned class with a different instructor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on add class. And this is going to be maybe my clay techniques class and i can click on add work owner and i can add someone else as the owner which is supposed to be the instructor of this class and then i can also set the date for that so this is going to help you in managing all the tasks that are happening not only can you add a simple kanban view like this but you can also go into the loop icon on the bottom and you can add multiple different types of uh, chat posts I'm going to post this first and this will be added. Not only can we view this over here, but we can also access this in the browser. Then I can click on start post and I can create a secondary post, which might be a team retrospective, a progress tracker, numbered list, checklist, bulleted list to make it easier for all of my team members to stay on track within their tasks. Now, these are just some of the basic features of Teams right now. You even have an assignment section if you have the educational version of Teams. Then you have your calls section where you can create calls as well as forward calls. You also have OneDrive where you can upload your Teams documentation, as well as link to a calendar and schedule all of your work together. Below that, you even have different sections such as a planner, whiteboard, as well as other Microsoft 365 add-ons that you can add into your Teams for free. And because they're under the same account, everything is going to be synced up. You can click on the meet section over here to start a meeting and for that just click on new meeting over here you can add a title add the required attendees timings channel location as well and you can even go into their scheduling assistant so let's say these clay classes are held online i can simply schedule all of the classes over here uh, the required people into that particular team you can also join with an id as well as create different types of template meetings which means webinars town halls classes lectures and live events so i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe